Hello there! Let's do this! Conducting the two ball, triple, quadruple meters by yours truly, I'm Midel Yopak, a basic approach in music education. The music in you. You might not be a virtuoso, but you have remarkable music abilities you just don't know about them yet. But maybe you can discover it now. Okay, let's study first the time signature. Okay, the time signature tells you how the music is to be counted. The time signature is written at the beginning of the staff after the clef and key signature. Time signature consists of two numbers written like a fraction. The top number or the upper number tells you how many bits are there in a measure. The bottom number tells you what type of bits they are or what note will be receiving one bit. Okay, let's have these simple time signatures. Duple, two, 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 four, two, eight. Triple, three, two, three, four, three, eight. Quadruple, four, two, four, four, and four, eight. Just look at the upper number so that you will determine the bit, the conducting bit. If the upper number is 2, it is duple. If the, triple, if the upper number is 3, it's triple. And if it is 4, it's quadruple. It's so easy to remember. Okay, let's memorize and practice the conducting patterns. If it is duple, duple we will do just like this. Down, up, 1, 2. 1, 2. It's so easy. The triple is 1, Two, three, down, out, up. One, two, three. The quadruple is only like this. Down, inside, outside, up. One, two, three, four. Just memorize them. Okay, there are three suggestions of knowing the beat or the time signature of a song. Take note, you should really know the song first. First, if you don't have the musical score or the musical piece, you can just listen and feel the music. Okay, I will give you an example. Bahay Kubo, we know this. Okay, Bahay Kubo, kahit munti ang halaman doon. Okay, I felt it. So, it is in triple. It's a triple beat. Okay, let's do this. Bahay kubo kahit munti. Okay, the second one is read the lyrics and know the stressed or accented syllables. And the third one, read the musical score. Okay, let's have this. Let's mark some syllables. Okay, and let's use this. Okay, bahay kubo kahit munti. Ang halaman doon ay sari-sari. Okay, let's conduct this. Bahay kubo kahit munti. Ang halaman doon ay sari-sari. Okay, you did it. You're so good. Okay. The next one, if you have the musical score, that will be great because you can see where will be the first beat. Okay, let's continue. Okay, we have here the musical score of Bahay Kubo. Okay, so the first beat is not one. It is not the first, it is not, I mean the first syllable is not the first beat because it's only one note. So this one is the Third beat. Okay, and the first beat will be high. Bahay kubo. Okay, two, three, and then one. Because it is in three, four. One, two, three. Okay, let's just put one in all the measures. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, this is, okay, the third beat. And then one. Okay, just remember the first beat is located after the bar line. Okay. Bahay kubo kahit munti ang halaman doon ay sari-sari singkamas at talong sigarilyas 
at mani. Sitaw, bataw, patani. Okay, this is another bit but it is a phrase. We will not sing that uh, half note anymore. And, and you can notice it's only two beats. Okay, the third beat is here at the beginning. So the first syllable has only ha, has incomplete uh, beat. The first uh, measure like that. Okay, so... Let's do this, okay? We will start from the third beat, okay? Bahay kubo kahit munti ang halaman doon ay sari-sari sing kamas at talong sigarilyas at mani sitaw bataw patani Okay, you're so good. Okay, let's go to the next one. Okay, we have here Leron Leron Sinta. Okay, it's so easy to, to know. Okay, this is also incomplete. Okay, it is the third end. It's only the third end. <laughs> okay, Leron Leron Sinta. Buko ng papaya, dala, dalay buslo, sisidla ng bunga, pagdating sa dulo, nabali ang sanga. Kapos, okay, let's do this. Leron, leron, sinta, buko ng papa. One, two, dala, dalay bus. One, two, sisidla ng bunga, pagdating sa dulo, nabali ang sanga. Kapus kapalaran, humanap ng iba. Okay, you're so good. Let's go now to the next song, which is Rasa Sayang. It's a folk song of Singapore and Malaysia. Okay, let's do this. This is also incomplete. This is the fourth beat, four end. And then we will have the one. Rasa Sayang, eh. Rasa Sayang, Sayang, eh. Lihat mo na jaw. Okay, let's do this together. Rasa sayang, hey, rasa sayang, sayang, hey, day, lihat no na jau. Rasa sayang, sayang, hey, rasa one, two, three. Rasa sayang, sayang, hey, hey, lihat no na jau. Rasa sayang, sayang, hey. Okay, you're so good. Okay, you just need a, a lot of practice to do that. Okay, let's have this conversation. Person, how do you perform so well? The musician said, Practice. It must be an innate gift. It's practice. I can never understand why some people have done it like this. It's magical and a mystery. Practice, said the musician. Okay, what I can say is, wait. <laughs> if you love to sing, you love to play instruments, you love to listen to music, and you are studying music in your school right now, I can say we are all musicians, and we all need to learn basic conducting. Okay, so thank you for watching. God bless you all and stay safe, everyone. Bye-bye!